Hello everybody, my name is Hamp Thomas. I'm a realtor and I'm an appraiser. And I want to change the real estate industry. Wow, how about that? What I want to do is help us to get towards one national measurement standard. Real estate agents, appraisers, assessors, builders, you know, architects, Real estate is the only industry in the world that doesn't have a nationally mandated measurement standard. That's hard to believe in this, the information age, that we don't have one national mandated measurement standard. How is that even possible? You take every component of a house. Well, singly, they all are built to some measurement standard. Every component of a house is measured by some national or international measurement standard. But you put all these items together to build a house and guess what? There is no single standard. Owners take a risk and you know they're basically rolling the dice depending on which agent or appraiser measures their house and how they've been taught. And on top of that, too many agents now have been taught and home buyers believe that the number in tax records is the official record for square footage. Well, I'm here to tell you, there is no official record. There's no such thing. Somebody made that term up. The tax department has no interest in the real estate information system. The numbers the tax department uses are for their purposes. It's an estimate of size based on an exterior measurement or they may be based on plans. And listen, I have studied the tax records all across this country for 14 years. Folks, the mistakes in tax records are everywhere. You know, there's, it's an equal opportunity offender. Some are smaller, some are larger, but chances are the numbers in tax records are wrong more often than they're right. If a real estate agent takes a number from tax records and uses that information to price a house, well, guess what? You get over and underpriced listings, and then you wonder why there's a low appraisal. The numbers in tax records were never designed or intended to be used in the real estate information system. Now, in this 14-year study, we found over 100 different names for finished square footage between MLS and tax records. Think about that a minute now. A hundred different names for finished square footage or what appraisers call GLA or gross living area. And you know, if you're looking at a computer system and they're doing a search and there's a hundred different names for this information, do you really trust the results of that search? How can it possibly be accurate with so many different names? Folks, it's a system that needs to change. You know, in MLS, I looked at one house just last week that was off $70,000 on the listing price because the agent had used the square footage from tax records and it was way bigger than what the actual house was. Guess what? That happens every day. And this is real money, folks. You know, this is not, you know, on paper money. This affects real people. It affects their income. It affects their future. You know, and it's too important not to measure a house. Now, really, if I'm an agent, I'm not going to measure a house. If there's no measurement standard, why would I want to take a chance? But that doesn't mean I shouldn't be responsible for getting that information right. Call an appraiser. Hire an appraiser. Ask them if they follow the ANSI measurement standard or the American measurement standard. But they need to follow a standard, measure the house, and then tell you how they measured it. You need to back it up with a standard of measurement. But folks, pricing people's house, this their single largest lifetime investment, and that job demands that you get the house measured before you come up with a price. But for me, I want to change an industry. I want to make the real estate gods come together and get us one nationally mandated measurement standard. Consumer protection demands this. How they haven't been screaming for this long before now, I don't understand. But it's time for the real estate industry to join the rest of the standardized world.